hey what's up everybody nasim from mdnasimreza.com and welcome to my brand new video so today i am going to show you how you can track your shopify website e-commerce tracking for google analytics 4 and using google tag manager so let's see how you can do it easily let's see how to connect google analytics 4 and shopify store using google tag manager so I am already in the Google Tag Manager and I am going to make a new tag. Just click on new and tag configuration will be tag configuration. And we have to input the measurement ID. So just we have to go on our Google Analytics 4 account and click on the admin section and click on the data streams and then click on this url and then we can see our measurement id just copy it from here and paste it our here and tagger will be all page and paste a name here gf4 base code tag and save it and then submit it you can give it in, in, in any name here i'm going to uh, gf4 active and publish it after connecting at uh, this uh, tag just see guys we have seen our one real-time user so that's me we have successfully connect our gf4 and shopify store using google tag manager let's see how to make view item event in gtm for google analytics 4 and shopify store so first of all we have to make a variable so because uh, if we uh, go on this uh, view item page you, we will see the data layer variable will be view item dot item so that's why we have to make this variable so just go on variable and click on new variable and it will be the data layer variable so just select the data layer variable and the event name will be this one and i am going to name this variable it's dlb data layer variable gf4 e-commerce items just save it and after that go on the tier and make a tier the tier will be the custom event and this event will be view items so where i collect this view item i'm going to preview mode and see this is the event also data layer dot push method it's the view item just copy this name and paste it as a trigger i'm going to give it a name ga4 ga4 view item trigger just go on save and then the final part is make a tag just go on tag click on new data configuration will be gf4 event and select our base code and event name will be the same it's called view item event just paste it here and we have to uh, event parameter and event parameter uh, name will be items and select that variable we are already made for gf4 and then trigger will be gf4 view item and that's it guys just give it a name here gf4 view items tag and save it 
and then go to submit and publish it and then go on the tag page and see our tag uh, just reload this page and go on the product page if you go on tag manager you can see our view item event and this is our view item event equal view item so everything is perfect so this one just see it it's a uh, collect the all information dynamically as a array variable so that's mean it working properly first of all we have to go on our preview mode just click on preview mode and then our website is automatically open just click on connect so our website is opening so and then just continue and then we just uh, going to uh, add to cart tab so this is view content and this is the add to cart button we are just going to click on that so after click on that just go back the google tag manager debug mode option so this is the add to cart event so we are going to track this event just copy it i just copy and paste uh, it in my uh, document file so you can do it as like me now go to make a tag first of all we have to make a trigger so click on new and make custom event and uh, of course you have to copy this uh, event name as a trigger just here and give it a, to a name here gf4 add to car tiger just save it and then our tiger is ready and now i'm going to make a tag just click on tag and new then tag configure will be g google analytics 4 event and select the g4 base code and uh, just look at here i just uh, uh, select the event parameter name so just copy its uh, item just copy the item and go to the event parameter and uh, paste the event parameter name and select that variable we already made just select it and tiger will be at ga4 add to cart tiger and then give a name here ga4 add to cart tag and then save it and i just forget to give the event name so just copy this event name and paste it here also and then save and must you have to publish it add to card gf4 and publish so let's go to our home page we are already in the debug mode just see our uh, add to card for gf4 is working or not just go on this product page and add to cart this product and see yes this is our ga4 add to cart is fired that means is working let's see how to track purchase event in google analytics 4 for shopify website and using google tag manager so first of all go on tag and click on new and then of course you have to select the google analytics 4 event because we are using google analytics 4 and then click on ga4 base code 
and event name the event name will be the purchase just give the purchase and event parameter you have to use the event parameter the event parameter will be uh, first of all it will be items just copy the items and select the GA4 e-commerce items and then uh, we have to use transaction ID just copy transaction ID and select the transaction ID variable that we are already made just transaction ID and then we are going to use the value parameter so this is value just we in this value we have to use transaction total because uh, some customer uh, can buy the many product in one purchase so and then we have to use our currency just copy currency and select the currency variable just select it and trigger will be the purchase we did a uh, purchase trigger in Shopify that will be transaction complete and then we are going to give a name here ZF4 purchase tag so it's very easy just follow this simple step and save it and after saving you must submit it for and publish it so our purchase tab is successfully made now we have to check it so just go on this product page we have a test product just find it test and go on the product page just copy I add to cut this product and then go on the view cut tab just remove all the parses only purchase this one just place order uh, we have to remove this one I am going to purchase this product just place order and just uh, use the uh, correct mail here and click on place order and then the confirmation and this is our processing this is processing and now thank you we have all and go on our summary and go on tag and see our GA4 purchase tag is fired one time that means it's work properly if you want to check you can uh, go on the transaction and see the variable and see our product is collecting all the data from here so that's mean it's working properly here is no doubt so thank you if you want to go on the real-time preview option just go on real-time preview option and see here all the event are counting here and already we have got the purchase if you need my help you can visit mdnasimraza.com and 
Also, you can visit my Upwork profile because I am the top rated freelancer on Upwork. I have successfully completed many jobs on Upwork. So you can check it by yourself. So if you need a experienced person to do it, you can contact me right now. I will respond to you as soon as possible. See you on the next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye. Have a good day.